Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and on this video I just wanted to do a brief run through of all of the movies that I've watched in December and I'm going to keep most of it brief because I've done reviews for, for these films but the first one I watched was Krampus and I was a bit mixed about that film because that I thought that um, I thought that its humour was good. I thought its art style was really good, and I did I did like the premise of it a lot. And but unfortunately, I felt that the jump scares in that film were really stupid, and you know it wasn't it didn't have any real tension to it either. So I was a bit disappointed with that one, but I still I still liked it enough to say that it, it's a decent film, and any fan of the genre would enjoy it in my opinion and the next film I saw was The Gift which was one I missed in theatres and oh wow that was just The, the Gift just blew me away I, I loved every second of it I thought that I thought it was paced really well this film and I, I liked I liked that they spent time actually developing the characters in this film and I've covered this on my on the every movie of I've I've rated five stars too this year on that on that video. So again, I'm not going to spend too long in it. But I thought the performances were excellent. I thought this was a I thought this was a great debut directorial debut for Joel Edgerton, and I thought that this was a very strong movie. And it's I think it's likely to be in my top ten this one. So the next and the next film I saw was Mission Impossible: Rogue Nation and. I don't know what happened to me in September, to be honest, or was it August when that came out? I I forget, but yeah, Mission Impossible only unfortunately missed in theatre theatres, and I'm kind of kicking myself for that still, to be honest. But I I thoroughly enjoyed uh, Mission Impossible: Rogue Nation. I think it's I think it's the best one of the Mission Impossible movies so far, and. I thought the action scenes and were really fun to watch in this one and one particular scene I loved in, in Rogue Nation was the Opera House scene. I thought that was so beautifully done and so yeah, that's definitely one that must be seen and the next one I saw was Mr. Holmes which has already been released on Blu-ray but I just wanted to check it out and yeah, it's it's really good. It's um it, it's it got a few mixed reviews here and there because it's not a traditional Sherlock Holmes film. It's it's about Sherlock Holmes when he retires and he, he's at a very vulnerable point in his life. And but I I personally really thought it was a really good f film. And the reason why was because Sir Ian McKellen's performance in this was just so it was such a nuanced performance from him in my opinion and. Yeah, Mr. Holmes, I've reviewed it on this channel before, so yeah, definitely check that out and check out the movie too because it's really good. And the next, the next twenty fifteen movie I saw was Carol, and I don't think I need to say anything else about Carol that I haven't already said on this channel. It's a movie that I just got obsessed with, and. I've seen Carol three times in the cinemas and that doesn't happen to me. It's it's just one of those rare experiences where I just fell in love with the movie and I thought I, I loved Kate Blanchett in the film. I thought Rooney Mara was exceptional as well. I thought it I, I thought the, the whole movie was just a, it it was just masterful and you know, it from from frame frame to frame this film was just gorgeous to look at and I really hope more people check check this film out because I think it's a masterpiece and so yeah Carol you must see Carol it's a great film and the next film I saw was Star Wars The Force Awakens and at first I did enjoy it and I did actually post a review on my channel but I feel I was kind of vague a bit with the review because I kind of tried to talk about it without spoiling anything and it just came, I just feel like it came off a bit vague on that review so I do apologize for that but in short I really enjoyed the movie I feel I thought it was a really I thought it was a really good film I, I saw it I've seen this movie twice now and I really enjoyed it a lot more the second time because you know there wasn't there wasn't so many people talking in the in the second showing and 
you know you were, you know I could just enjoy the film for what it was and I still I still have the problem with plot recycling that I had did previously but it's 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 not so bothersome for me anymore because it, I found the plot was it I, th I thought the film was just engaging I really liked I really liked how the flow, film kind of had a flow to it as well it was just a really fun movie to watch so yeah Star Wars is a must see film and then the next one I saw was Phoenix and Phoenix is another movie that I gave five stars to I thought that Phoenix was a phenomenal movie and I've recently posted a review for this so I'll just check that one out and yeah Phoenix is definitely one of my favourite films this year it's just again it's another very it's another film with a really beautiful nuanced performance from Nina Haas and I I thought that uh, I thought the story was just really engaging and it, it kind of reminded me of some of the classic Hitchcock films so yeah it's it's very suspenseful and I enjoyed every minute of it I thought Phoenix was a fantastic film that's definitely worth checking out and it deserves more exposure than it gets in my opinion and next was Lost River and I didn't like this one um, it's available on Netflix now so if you if if you enjoy things like if you enjoy art house films I, I I like art house films but if you enjoy if you enjoy really surreal films like say like um like Nicholas Winding Refn's films are a lot like this uh, so yeah if you enjoy those you, you just give it a shot at the end of the day it's it's not an you know I just it it just personally wasn't my cup of tea I didn't like I didn't like the characters in there and you know everything just felt like it was a blank slate to me and I just I couldn't get into the film personally but it's but yeah it's it's just a personal taste for me so the next one I saw was Maggie which stars Abig Abigail Breslin and Arnold Schwarzenegger and this this one's about this this the story of this one is that Arnold Schwarzenegger has to care for his daughter who's just bit ha just had an infection and she's about to turn into a zombie and you know it, if someone pitched the idea of a, of Arnold Schwarzenegger in a in a zombie movie it's this isn't the type of movie you would be thinking of to be honest it's actually a very powerful drama I, I really enjoyed Maggie I thought that uh, I thought the performances in it was particularly good from from Breslin and Schwarzenegger. I mean, Schwarzenegger, in my opinion, actually puts one of the best performances of his career in this film. I, you know, I re, I re, you, I really did sympathise with the guy, and I felt, I felt the you, you feel the weight of the of some of the decisions he ends up having to make, and I thought, I thought it was a, I thought it was a really moving film, and that surprised me with this film. Um, you know, and the, those two performances alone are worth watching this film for, in my opinion. So, unfortunately, the movie does have its problems, though. I mean, I thought that the pacing of it suffered a lot because that you get like an you get like an hour with not a lot happening and there's character development and stuff. But you know, it it doesn't. It's a very slow moving film, and so it that's some people ain't going to enjoy that aspect of it, but. On the whole, I did like the film enough, and and it was because of those performances. So the final one I'm going to talk about is in the heart of the sea, and unfortunately, I was bitterly disappointed with that film. I thought it was just a very boring film. I thought, you know, the you know the actors tried, but they just they had no personality to them, and. I I just expected better from Ron Howard behind the camera because he is a better director than this and you know Rush was one of my favorite 2013 movies so I had to give this a chance but yeah I just didn't feel any weight to anything that happened and you know it, I just don't recommend it I I think just watch Star Wars again instead so yeah that's that's my December wrap up and as you can see I had quite a busy month this month watching films and because I'm trying to find all of the best ones of the year because I've I've been holding that list back because of that so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please please remember to like and hit that 
hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in my next video.